Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you a fun speedrun variation of Metal Gear MSX, any percent, and it is All Trucks. All Trucks is a speedrun where we need to visit all of the 18 trucks that are in this game. I think there are 18. And for that, we just need to enter them. That's the whole requirement. You gotta enter all the trucks and then finish the game. What this actually is, is like an any percent plus run with like a few set of uh, limitations. So we just go, just like usual, through the game here. But we're going to go into this truck where the scope is, go out. As usual, we're going to grab the level one card, of course, it's required. We're going to grab a few rations here. As soon as we have six rations, then we're good to go. Five, we need one more. And then there's three more trucks that are on the way that we can quickly visit. As I said, there's no requirement really for us to grab any items. Some of these trucks will actually teleport us back to a different location, so that can be a little bit annoying. Oops, there we go, we visit this one twice, why not? And then we're good to go. And from here on out, until we're back again at the bottom, it's basically just your regular any percent run. So we're gonna go for all of the game, just like usual. <laughs> go over here, go over here. Use the ration in this gas room because we don't have the gas mask. That's not a truck that we need to visit, so we just don't. Go like this, then hopefully, yep, the guard delays by shooting us. That actually helps us to get away from him without being damaged. And hopefully allows us to also use a ration way later when we actually 100% need it. Because we can use a ration early here, we're a little bit low on health, but absolutely it's fine for us how things look currently, so. We could put it on just to be sure, but we can also just risk it and move on. And that's hopefully 100% what I can do here. Shot, there we go, and then we're good to go. I got lucky that this shot missed me because that would 100% have killed this run. There we go, saving another POW here. And then we're almost done with this floor, just like any percent regular, really. Because there's no trucks outside of the ground floor levels. So this is almost the end of this floor. We're just gonna grab one more POW. So the next one actually is our fifth. That way, even if we are low on health leaving this floor, uh, we can actually make it <clears throat> into the next one almost immediately again, healed up, and then we're good to go for another round. So as I said, we wanna quickly go here. And then get ready for the capture. Hope that we don't use all of our health up because we still want to keep a little bit of it. The less we get shot, the better for us in the end. So good shot here once, it's fine. And we're good to go. This is capture, and now we gotta move on over to getting out of here again. For that, we just talk to Schneider, save him, and then grab our stuff and hopefully make it out of here. Before that, we gotta meet Shopmaker. Shopmaker, pointless enemy here, really. We can completely just walk past him. Gotta rid, rid of this transmitter in our inventory, because that one actually will um, 
have us being tracked. And then if we leave this room, we get immediately put back into our cell. So we don't want that, of course. We want to remove it. I always miscount by one. I don't know why. And here we go. Just made it out. Now we just got to go through the maze. And in this maze, the dogs are constantly chasing us unless they leave the room before we do. If they despawn and leave the room before we do, they don't chase us at all. And we can just walk on. This is why I delayed here just for a quick moment. So the guard dog actually does not chase us. As we can see here in the last room, he did not despawn and now someone is following us. The cool thing is though, even if you get followed like this, we can still make it so they don't hit us at all because they are actually stuck in their vertical or horizontal axis. They cannot switch from one side of the wall to another basically because they apparently don't have enough room. So say for example if we get followed now, we are following on the right side here, but if we go to the left, they follow us on the left. As we can see, we can use this to our advantage to basically lock them in one of the two sides where we want to have them so we can be on the other side later and just stand still for a moment because we need to blow up another wall here actually. So what I will do here, we're going to leave the screen on the right side like this and even if you get chased it's fine because the dog does not hit us. I think I walked a little bit too high there, there we go. Just gonna grab the enemy uniform and I'm good to go. Fun thing about this dog, if you stay at the bottom side he will always try to go to the top side or sometimes even get lost and completely moves away. And here we are just too fast and get away right away. It's that simple really. Now for this war, we gotta just make it past, grab all the items, save two PWs, and we're good to go. I was very lucky we did not get shot once. This is incredible, this would have been a perfect run for five rations to show that off. Incredible, yeah, incredible luck. I'm gonna still uh, show you how it looks like. Normally, uh, with six rations, I would heal up once here to be 100% sure. Then I can make it past the mines with, um, after the hind. Look at this. Amazing. I can just make it like this, go up here, and move over. And it sadly did not skip. So we're gonna get this alert here. We just move out of the way. And hopefully you don't get shot to death. Wonderful, we're just gonna make it to the roof now. And I sadly got shot. That's unlucky. It's fine though, we have enough rations, so we can just move over here. And on this roof, actually, there's a very good chance that we never get hit once. gonna walk over here, have a parachute on, and then <clears throat> make it over to the hind fight. There we go. Just gonna make my way over here and then we're good to go. <clears throat> Alright. I already played uh, better by like one minute. <laughs> this is my first test of this run. So I'm gonna use the ration here. And we can make it for this minefield by just walking clean. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. And now we saved actually one more ration than we needed. This is how a 5 uh, ration run would look like in any percent. Um, we would say 4 seconds by basically not grabbing a 6 ration, but also sadly we would lose like 2 seconds by going through the minefield. And I was going very slow already, but you know, you can make it even slower. In any case, we're gonna walk over here and go up here and out. I'm gonna go in here, be like transported, oh no! And go back here. So we did not walk to, uh, through the minefield at all. And then we are now officially done with all the trucks 
in building one. Because we just teleported back two times. And funny enough, these trucks are not the um, annoying ones. They're actually fine to be transported back because it's not that much delay. Now we can actually walk through here just like usual. Just a little bit of, in quotes, backtracking. I would say it's forward tracking. We're going to ignore this one truck because we're going to meet it automatically later. And then just get on with our run just like with any percent normally would. There we go. We make it over here, make it over here, and we're good to go. Looks like the bulldozer. And that's it. And we're out of here. Sadly, once again, the um, auto splitter did not split for me, so whatever, I guess. Oh, these guys really love to walk far away from me. Oops, got stuck here. Got stuck there. That's fine. And now we can move. Originally, I did not intend to take the other trucks early. I was intending to go all the way back to the building free trucks and then let me teleport once back. But I found out <clears throat> the building free trucks are actually fine because we can death walk back again to the beginning or rather the end of building two. And we don't need to go through building two multiple times. There we go. So death warping makes it a little bit less interesting, I guess, as an argument, I would maybe agree. But on the other hand, it's not that annoying. <laughs> Just teleport back again, right? And we're allowed to use the methods that we pick, so this is what I picked. Alright, a little bit. <laughs> the menu in here, and there we go. As I said, building two in its entirety has no trucks in the ground floor, so we just move on as usual. And yeah, because I saved that one ration, we actually have way too many rations here. <clears throat> that is fine, though. I'm just gonna use one like this. Gonna go over here, then walk to the next door. And there we go. So, in earlier testing, I actually grabbed the antidote because I was thinking, oh yeah, I gotta go through the um, desert ones probably get stung by the scorpions and then have to heal up <clears throat> because else I would run out of rations before I would go to building free finally and finish the game. Turns out with death warping at least that's no problem at all. We can literally just make it through like that because death warping basically just resets the status. And maybe we could make a category extension where we're like no death warping is not allowed for all trucks we have to walk all the way to Really live the experience, going for it, so no death warp is allowed. But currently this is just all track percent, I guess, something like that. I don't know, it's a meme, right? So I'm just trying to find the fastest way possible to meet the requirement of you gotta visit all the trucks and this is how I did that. There we go. Gonna call Jennifer here. And then grab the rocket launcher, which will only spawn if you call her in this room. And only um, we can only call her if we are rank four. So here we go. Uh, there we go. And now we're actually going to use death abuse, another trick that we can use for any percent, where we die five times at a checkpoint. How we're going to do this five times? It's very simple. We're just going to move over here, enter an elevator. Entering in an elevator will set a checkpoint, and then we immediately go back in again into this room and die as quickly as we can to the death barrel. That way, we can die basically five times back to back the fastest way possible in RTA, while also preserving a lot of IGT. 
And I'm glad that the order splitter so far has kept up, except for one room. That's fine. As we can see, we've died five times, so now we can move on. Because now we have full, full ammo back for all the weapons. And we also have weapons that we don't have before. Isn't that nice? I think that's nice. Yeah, I gotta kill the brats though to move on. Gonna call Jennifer quickly so she opens the door for us. And then we're good to go. Hopefully we don't lose too much health here. So far it's looking good. Yeah, this is fine. Now we can actually make it without needing to heal up anymore. And this guy completely ignores our rocket. I love it. <laughs> So we can just move on like this. As I said, just like regular any percent at the end of the day. We can just move on like this. I'll try to save my health. Oops, don't walk too far or else you'll end in the pit. I guess for pit percent, this is a different thing. Because pit percent, we 100% have to die, so there's no point around it. There will be death warping. Oh. Right, and because we don't need the antidote anymore. Uh, our menus are literally the same, just like any percent. I'm gonna try to not get the alert here, just because I fancy it. There's absolutely even no point avoiding the alert there, it doesn't matter. Once, then move over, and then we're good to go. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, no. <laughs> Why did it not heal me? Why did it not heal me? So, yeah, if you die there going back down, you have to kill Dirty Duck again. Because it actually is that's a checkpoint when you enter the screen, not when you leave it, sadly. So, um, okay, for some reason it did not do that for me. That's gonna be a little bit of time loss, it's fine. I'm gonna double make sure that I got healed up to 100%. There we go. And then another time going down. Yeah, now we're gonna bleed sometime. It's fine, whatever. It's a category extension. I guess I'll leave it free for everyone else to take. There, definitely made sure I got healed up. Now I can leave. Fun fact, this is how death percent was born. To just fail to heal up there. Alright, now this is where truck percent comes really through. Although we get bitten, it's fine. We will move on now. And we will actually gonna get into every single of these upcoming seven trucks. Four of these are gonna teleport us somewhere. And the first one gets us where? It puts us back in the minefield. We wanna get into these mines and die as quickly as possible. The problem here is we need to basically avoid to um we need to avoid the iframes that we have from being poisoned. Because if we're in the poison iframes we can literally walk through the mines uh, without needing to worry because we still have iframes from the poison. Gotta enter this, gotta enter this, and now this truck, where will it put us? It will put us back here again, and because we not have we haven't visited this one correctly. I'm gonna visit it manually at least once. And I'm gonna try to die as quickly as possible. I'll just do like this. As I said, also here, the poison once again gives us iframes, so we could technically, with the correct timing, skip the tank, but of course, we don't wanna do that. Alright, let's see what's behind truck number four. There's still four more to go. <laughs> And this is really the only way how truck or all trucks would be a meme. 
Because, as I said, it's literally any percent by visiting just all trucks where you can death walk them back again. Normally, it would be way more annoying. And there we go. Alright, that's that. Oops, there we go. We only have two more trucks to go through. Fun fact, the sixth truck actually is empty. There's not even ammo in there. It's just a little bit of a cop-out. There is actually no reason to go in any of these. But here we are. So that's the final truck, and then we can finally death warp around. There we go, we died. A bit anticlimactic. But here we are. Now we can actually move on. We visited all the trucks in the game. And that's the CE done. <laughs> now we just gotta finish the game, just like usual in any percent, and then we're done. As you can see, we're already slower than the any percent category, but we're not drastically slower, to be completely honest. I was thinking <laughs> this would be a very intense category, just walk along. We gotta heal up, so we definitely gotta grab the antidote and everything, but... Turns out it's not that bad. Yeah, that death after Dirty Duck was a shame. Um, just happened. Cost me 35 seconds, so yeah. But if you want to do this, um, as I said, it's literally just 90%, but we visit all the trucks, and thanks to death warping, there's really only three trucks that... I... No, it's actually only two teleports that we actually seriously are going to use. Because there's no point in dying to them. Uh, there we go. There we go once. The other four trucks that teleport us actually don't matter at all. We just die quickly and then continue back uh, after building two. Which, yeah, that sounds a little bit cheap, but as I said, it's a meme. It's a category extension, so here we are. Just gonna. Hey, we're just gonna play the game as it was given to us, right? In any case, this is totally beatable, of course, um, this one is basically a one-shot. I had to do it a few times just to iron out a few kings, but I'm gonna leave this death in here, it's fine. Whatever. You guys can do it, just for fun. We're just gonna quickly kill the TX-55 here by uh, exploding his legs, or right, right, left, right, left, left, as we're going in here, right, left, left, back to the beginning, right, right, left. And then the final side, right, left, right, right. Didn't place it great. And there we go. And as we can see, yeah, thanks to death warping, we saved a lot of time. All right, and that's it. Uh, it has been Metal Gear MSX um, All Trucks, a little fun category extension. It was basically posted as a challenge by Sergeant Silent, and I'm like, well, sure. And then I figured out, hey, actually, our checkpoint is way easier. What if we just die? And that's it. 23 20. It's four minutes slower, roughly, than an 90% one. It's still a little bit annoying, but it's not as annoying. Maybe somebody wants to go and actually do not abuse death warp. Then it can be like 28, maybe 29 minutes, just an estimate. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's been Metal Gear MSX, uh, any percent all trucks, a little fun category extension. I don't know. If you like the idea, of course, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. And of course, I'll see you hopefully soon in the next one. We're just going to wait for the credits to roll over and see the action IGT time, just for fun's sakes. It's going to be a little bit weird because the checkpoint is set so much differently. But yeah. But of course, if you want to learn how to run proper 80%, you can do that, of course, at metalspeakers.com where I made a wiki page for all your needs that you need to, of course, learn any percent. Any percent is a real fun time. Um, gets really competitive these days on the top three leaderboard. So, uh, yeah. As a current stance, we're on the cusp of getting uh, sub 19 minutes done 
four PS2 pound, which is very fast. I would have not thought to see this day come around, but we are this close. And maybe by the time that you're watching it, it already has been achieved, so who knows. I just like personally how this um, run has turned out. It's annoying, but it's also a little bit fun. Like, if you explain to people, yeah, you actually get teleported back, like, before building two. It sounds like so devastating, and then in the end you just die, and then it's not that bad. However, it's, uh, you know, four minutes of time loss, roughly. And I know it can, could have been like a 22 time, a high 22 or something like that, so it's maybe not even that much. It's not four minutes, more like three minutes, so yeah. In any case, those 33 seconds that we lost, not healing up, they're fine. This run is free for the taking if you feel inspired and want to have a free world record, why not do it with this? Just for fun. Alright, let's see what the IGT is. And there we go, it's <laughs> brilliant. It's less than 20 minutes IGT. Crazy. As I said, um, the IGT is actually calculated via RTA, but it gets reset if you die in a checkpoint. And because we died four times, actually five times even, yeah, we went one truck too many times, I think. Um, all the times that we went through the desert, entered a truck and then went to die, does not get counted. So <laughs> that's crazy. But alright, that has been it. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'll see you soon and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.